I need to charge my fucking phone. I have to resort to fucking streaming in order to goddamn share play on PlayStation. Like, this is fucking shit. Sony, I'm gonna be honest, man, your console sucks. That's why I'm buying an Xbox. No Bloodlust Weekends out. I wonder how uh, True Talent's doing with that. Are you on the stream yet so I can get scared and poop and shit and fuck? Uh, YouTube, I will not be saying the N-word, by the way. Uh, uh, there's subtitles in this game? This game is fucking loud. Okay, you're on. Alright. Let me turn the audio down just a little bit. Um, yeah, so I got my first guideline strike today on YouTube. Um, yeah, I deserved it. I'm not gonna lie, I did deserve it. I was very racist back when I was young fetus, but now I have grown up to be big fetus, and I don't say the N-word, nor do I want for what, like a pistol? That's called a pistol. I'm not in a good mood tonight because Sony wants me to restart my PS4, but it ain't fucking happened. Is the audio skipping or you're my audio technician today? But, but like, anyway, what I was saying was like, yeah, Sony, your console sucks. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, this is why I'm not getting a PS5. Like, a lot of people have high praise for the PlayStation and the PS5 and the Sonys and the... And <clears throat> Holy fuck, I'm choking on a goddamn motherfucking bulldozer. Yeah, you crawled down my throat. Alright, last time I was a little bitch, and I was like, oh, this game's scary. Today we're gonna be... Yeah, we're gonna be speedrunning this game. I already remember where everything spawns. Today we're gonna be doing... Uh, five minutes or less speedrun. Alright, like last stream we're starting off with fucking... The sensitivity being way too goddamn high. And I won't be a pussy this time, I'll actually get scary. Yeah, yeah just some first aid kits in there, don't want that. Turn on the torch, what is this, Minecraft? Can we show those mobs don't spawn? The sensitivity in this game is fucking weird, my nidge. Alright, what does this say? Yeah, yeah, I read this last time, I read this last time. Let me turn on this poop. Oh, fuck. Sensitivity is a little bit too fast, holy. <laughs> Trying to make me goddamn blind over this. I might shit myself. Like, not over the game, but I'm actually, like, farting and, like, shitting myself. Yeah, I don't say that, yeah. I wonder what monster it is. Monster. Probably the hottest one they have. Monster. Yeah, let's, let's crank this bad boy up. Um. Remembering the controls one step at a time, like a fetus. Alright. Let me open doors with my hand, like humans do. Alright, grab this. Hey, shit ass, you wanna see me die on a boat? <laughs> Is the monster know if I poop myself? I've already shit myself. Alright, we're in the fucking auto technician room. I don't know what killer it is, probably a really scary one. What the fuck is this? Holy crap, I didn't find this last stream. The fucking bolt cutters. You can play the radio. You obviously are gonna get your asshole ripped open if you play this. It's probably gonna play some copyright music, so... I don't know if that makes noise and the monster can hear it, but I don't give a fuck, because take, I'm taking over the... Number 15, scary lights. This is how I turn on lights in real life. I wonder what monster it is. It's probably fucking scary. Oh, I can't. That door's inaccessible. Wait, how do I even open that? Do I have to throw a grenade in there and blow the door up? Do you know what these graphics remind me of? Are these graph. These. Eh. Might be the monster. These graphics remind me of, uh, what's it called? I bought a game. 
I bought a game on my Xbox. It's called Far Cry Classic. Nope. So I bought a game on my Xbox called Far Cry Classic. Steam Dams. Poop shit monster. Hey, monster, you wanna break it down? I got a fucking boombox. I'm, I've got a boombox, so I'm gonna go Game just froze for a second. Oh, it's near me. I don't care, to be honest. The monster's like, oh, I heard that noise. Who? Who's Kobe? Kobe Bryant's in this game? He better be. This torch is my only light source now. I'm gonna use this throughout the whole game. I think it's under me. Number 10. The scariest monster. It was actually not the monster on the boat. It was me. I know if I get spotted by the monster, I'm just gonna die. Number 15. This is... Number 10. Jay Station got fucked up on a boat. It's a ghost. This is a poop recording of my shit hole. Is there a way to save this game? Like, what if I decide I don't want to keep playing? What the fuck is that? Wait. Is that monster? Oh, got the TV. I thought that was a person. <gasps> Fuck. I don't want to lose the boombox, and I don't want to drop this. Oh, it does say Kobe on it. Mm. Should I sacrifice the cup, but risk getting killed over these glow sticks? I don't think so. I will drink my finest shit out of this. It's the brand. No, it's the brand they used. It was a fan favorite. They was in the first game, so they had to bring it back. Fuck it. <laughs> no, the monster's here. Yeah, the monster's here. It's the one that crawls around in the vents. Alright, well... No, it's him. No, did you hear him? That was him walking around. I'll offer him a cup of coffee. You want some coffee, bitch? I got a nice little cup of coffee. Okay. That was kind of... Yep, it's here. Mm-hmm. It came to the ventilation shaft. Do you want coffee? I'm offering coffee if you want some. I told you that it was here. I told you it was here and you didn't really- Oh, I'm gonna him up. Yeah, it's gonna crop my ass, use a ventilation shaft. It must be too scared of me. I would be too. Anyway, I think it's gone. I think I'll have to open up all these. What is that? Oh, it's a one of those alarms for chickens or whatever for supper. Not what I want. Just a screwdriver. Where'd the monster go? Monster. I'm gonna close this door because I will. And I can. Who just left this cup of coffee laying on the floor? You know, it's disrespectful. Danger. High velocity. More like flashlight. More like flashlight. <laughs> Elite speedrunners say this game is the scariest shit they've played since poop. Oh! 
it is here. Oh, that's cool. I hope it's hot. Is Fucking shit ass. You wanna see me run in circles? I don't know. It's randomly generated, you fool. You should have known. It was all part of my it was all part of my evil plan. No one will ever get my ass. Dr. Kessler. It's here. Yeah, it's evented. Evented, it's the imposter, we're all gonna die. Sony, real question, why you need PlayStation Plus to share play? Wait. Is that actually it? Do you have this game of surround sound? Do you hear it? You don't hear any other noises that sound suspicious to you? I'm gonna trust you. I'll keep doing my guard patrol route. The way this guy runs. Oh yeah, this is the helicopter. You do? Is it under me? Find fuel pump restricted cables and helicopter door. Oh, we don't need the fucking door. We can do this without the door. Whoever uses doors on their helicopters is a goddamn pussy, and we all know it. I'm not actually. It's here. You heard that? You hear it? What? Is it coming for me? Is it coming for me? That's the noise of it going through the ventilation system? Good jams. Alright, what do I need again? I need to... Uh, to cut the restraint cables. You're a pussy and you know it. You don't scare me. <gasps> oh god, that scared the shit of me, I don't know why. It's got titties! I, I just clicked my flashlight at it. No, I clicked my flashlight at it, though. Well, don't get mad at the locker. The locker didn't click the flashlight at you. I did. Whoa. What did my character write down about it? I want to see. Okay, what did I write down? What? Um... Nope, not what I'm looking for. What do you say? What am I looking? What did my character write down? Where? What? Did, what did he write? I heard her again. I was on the helipad securing the fuel, and she came echoing out from the stern. Holy shit! There was this hot monster with titties, and I wanted to grab him, but I was too scared. So I kind of just clicked my flashlight in the locker and didn't find me. Poop shit. Was it necessary to write poop shit? It's nearby still. The music... Yeah, the music's still playing. Yeah, so I realized that the, the monsters have their own themes. He's still... Or she is still near me and wants to grab my dick. Benedict? More like poop. Can you still hear it? Or is it going? Gone. 
That's right, monster. You try to get away from me, but you're not. You know you're too scared. Camera. Go fuck yourself. It's nearby. Well, I don't know where it is. I hear it. It's here. I hear it. It is? Thank God I got my diaper on. No monsters will be scaring me. Jesus. It takes so long to hide under the bed. Did you see how long that took? Yeah, big smoke's under his bed. Big smoke's hiding under his bed with me? It's near. Is it just is it just camp in this area? What the hell, man? It's like I heard a human. Now I want to destroy him. Look at those hands. Those are some hands of a real man. What's that noise? Yeah, you're right. The noises in this game are just creepy. Like, I don't understand. I don't care. I don't care anymore. If this thing's gonna kill me, it might as well rape me. What is she talking about, Columbine? She's like a Jinji go Yato, Yakut son. Kairosan. Oh, it's on the wall. <gasps> oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Suki day. Open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door. Well. It definitely knows I'm here now. Did you see that? I clicked the flashlight at it again. I don't think it can see flashlights. Oh, I just came out of the goddamn wall and it was like... Oh. Some sexy ass feet though. Where is it? I hear it though. It sounds like swamp. Thing. Swamp thing. It's here. God damn it. Uh. How long is it just gonna chill out here for? What do you hear? Um, what kind of music do you hear, my nigg? A screeching violent in me. Would you give me the meat? Well, poop shit monster, I'm not scared. How did it find me though? Like what was its ability? Why would it why would it do that? It came out of the goddamn wall like some fucking street urchin. I need duct tape. The reason I need duct tape is because I'll be able to duct tape those things. You know what? Let's hit this. Yeah, isn't yeah, isn't it called like I have a plan still or something? I play some music and then the monster's coming. 
That's fucking good. Is it coming in? I played some music for it. Yeah, it's here, it's here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I played some music for it. There's a shitty song, though. It was like four seconds long. Is it still here? What? What do you mean? Is it, you hear nothing? It's here. I played some jams on my little boombox here. I'm gonna wait till it leaves, then I'm gonna keep playing it over and over again. Just, oh, just to piss it off. I'm tempted to press the button. I really am. It's ripping lockers open at this point. Yeah, it's searching for the music. I was playing some mad jams over here. Oh, man. Look at it. What is that thing even, like? It makes squishy noises when it walks around. This was on the Unity engine, wasn't it? This is a fine game for Unity engine. What's my objective even? I don't even remember. I think he left. He didn't like my music. I want to play more music. Do you know what I want to do? Do you know what I do? I want to turn this on, throw it into a locker, close the door, and hide in a different locker. You think that would work? Oh, there's no door here no more. He broke it. What an asshole. Oh, he rips the doors off. Are you serious? <sighs> what a dick. Like, what an actual penis. Like, what a dingot. Is that the lights on? No, I think that's lights on. Alright, we're rocking. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 this way. It came through that shaft. Oh, it can hear me. Okay, I get it. That's kind of cool. Yep. So it can hear me through the vents. Yeah, it vented. You, you goddamn dick. Does it, does it hear that? Ugh, I hate hiding like a little bitch. Can I like pallet loop this thing? If you know me, I'm not hiding in here. Fuck this. I'm not a pussy. This thing can't be that hot. Oh, yup, it is. It doesn't know what locker I went in. I'm holding duct tape up like, oh! Top 10 most scariest motherfucking duct tape holders. Doolittle's been. It went. <laughs> oh, it's in the room with me. Oh my god, Tommy was so. Yeah. He looks kind of creepy, but he's a poopy head. Oh, what is he doing? What was that? What did he just do? Is he gonna check the bed? How many times do I piss this thing off? This one's the hottest, though. I like this one. I don't even know what this monster is supposed to be. He's just really hot. 
Let's see, when is he gonna go? Do you hear him? He must be gone. Well, these lights do absolutely fucking nothing. It's nearby again. So his song is like a violin, right? It's like a screeching violin, Minecraft, 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 Minecraft. Sitting in a logo, in a logo, sitting in a logo, in a logo, sitting in a logo. Hello. Is anybody out there? You listen good, Chief! Oh god, it's worse than I thought. It's a motherfucking Briscoe. Alright, is it still here? It didn't lay none of that shit down, did it? This killer's kind of annoying. Oh shit in your mouth. It's nearby. Shit ass. Why is it always, like, camping me? <gasps> Whoa! Radio. More like get the fuck out of my inventory, yo. How do I drop this thing without playing music? I don't want to play music, so I'll actually get destroyed. Drop iron... Weapon... Weapon. Yeah, drop fucking machete. Drop... Tool. Item. Toss item. Try okay. Those were not confusing for anybody who's gonna watch this live stream later. Oh, made a little clonk noise. What do I have? A uh, chain spool, duct tape, bolt cutters, and gasoline. Well. Now we're fucking cooking. And it's nearby again, fuck's sake. I'm gonna hide in the corner with a lighter. Maybe I'll scare it off. Imagine how much fluid I'm wasting. Wait, so, what was my objective? I can, okay, find fuel pump. Cut restraint cables, unlock helicopter door. Wait, do I have the... I don't think I have the helicopter key, do I? I'll burn door down. I don't think I have the the key to it, so my closest escape would probably be. I don't know. Wait. Yeah, fuck that. I'll probably just be swimming. Unlock helicopter door. Violin. Cut restraint cables. Find fuel pump. I should try to find the the other thing. No, I should try to find. Yeah, I think I'm almost escaped with the sub. Oh, scared myself. I think I could probably escape the submarine. Probably. I'm walking around a lot because this killer can hear you in the. Hell yeah. I want to molest you. Good. I do too. I'm carrying this duct tape everywhere with me. I think this killer can hear you from like a mile away when you're in the vents. I don't know. What is what? A double dead end? Oh. Uh, well. Thank God the killer didn't find me, cause my ass would have been grass, and he would have been the fucking lawnmower. I don't think he can hear me here. Fuck him. Well, never mind. Another fucking dead end. A tip to take away from this, don't fucking go down there. Uh oh. 
people. Yeah, he's nearby, ain't he? Yeah. Well, if he comes down here, I'm just gonna die. It doesn't matter. You know what? I'm not a pussy. Fuck this. I'm going right up there. I'll face him like a real man. You know what? I'll, e I'll even leave the door open. A barzard. Buzzard. I don't know if the killers hang out in here. I'd say not. It's here. Character, you see the monster and you just stand there like a goddamn fool. My fat ass is running. Alright, we'll sneak away. Alright, we'll, we'll just kind of walk away from that situation and not worry about that monster ever again. Now, before he was an asshole and cut me off, I was going to I was gonna tell you a little story. So, I was thinking about it, and do you know how, like, these monsters are, like, super fucking scary and shit, and, like, um, you know... Their one objective is just to kill us. Do you know how fucking boring that sounds? Yeah, like, do you know how boring that would fucking be? Oh shit, he's down here. Oops. This killer seems like he's gonna get very annoying. Because what it seems like he does is leave these traps around and he just kind of pops out of anywhere. That seems kind of annoying. But... What I was thinking, like... So, let's just say this, right? So, you, you're on this boat, and you're here to kill people. And you end up waiting, like... Let's just say, hypothetically, you wait, like, 14 hours for... Just, like... So, you're... He's nearby, isn't he? Flashlight flickered. But yeah, okay, so we'll just- we'll just say something. Well, we'll just say, like... Maybe... Oh no, the battery's going dead. I've been using too much of my flash light. Yeah, I've been using too much of my flashlight, now it's dying. So I was- I was thinking, like... So... Okay, so let me just think. Cause I'm kinda listening for the killer. So... You're on this fucking boat. And your objective is to kill this person. My first question is, do you know that this person's here? Just got steamed. Yeah, I just got steam bath. So yeah, let's just say hypothetically you're on this boat, you're a killer. My first question is, how long was this killer just sitting on this boat for? And my second question is, yeah, like, why the fuck would you sit on this boat? And number two, do killers really not have anything other to do than just chase somebody? Like, it just seems fucking boring. But it just seems really boring to me. Here's the sub boat. Smoker's got me. But yeah, so, what I'm saying is, is just... I don't get it, right? You ever think about that? What killers do when there's no one to kill? Like, what do they do all day? Do they just kind of, like, chill? And wait for the next person? And if so... So, I need a power console, fix broken panel, replace... Is he seriously in this room with me? I think the violin's just to spook me. But anyway, so yeah. I don't see what the fun in that would be. Fix broken pan or replace battery or replace head. Dude, there's so many fucking objectives. And you can't get five feet without this fucking asshole spawning in, so I don't fucking see the point of that. Okay. Is this the worst killer? Seems like an asshole. 
Like, I hear him right now, actually. He's right... He's over there. He's over there. Yeah, but he's even more of an asshole. He doesn't have to open doors. He plows them down. And he makes a, a, a instant door thing. I'm never going to complete this game, by the way. The ghost is... Kinda cool. Is he here? I, I can't tell, because there's so many fucking extra noises in this game for no reason. That's what I fucking hate about these horror games, so like, I actually want to get out of here this time, but I don't think I am, so... I'm not wearing fucking sandals. Am I wearing socks or sandals? Maybe I'm wearing socks with sandals. But yeah, let's just say that. I'll leave the story like that. And if I'm wearing socks, why are they so loud? Metal, Metal socks. Iron socks. Let me just kick this monster's ass right quick. Oh. You dick. You're not scary anymore, you're just annoying. You too, Steam. I hate you as well. But yeah, anyway, so this killer just pops up out of nowhere. He's an annoying piece of shit. But yeah, like... Um... Yeah, so you're a killer, you come here, and you're like, oh, let me kill some people. Like, and then another thing is, how long are you gonna wait to ch to find this person in particular? Like, you know what I mean? That's for, like, also, like, main enemies in video games. Like, why the fuck do they devote their life just to get this one person? Like, I know, like, some of them have their stories, right, on why they do what they do, but it just doesn't make sense to me half the time. Uh... Yeah, but like some characters, you're like, what? It's a stupid reason. Villains can be cool if they're done right. All right, I'm not finding this fucking exit, am I? I'm already getting bored. I have a real bad problem with this game where I kind of want to complete this game. But one, there's two reasons why I get pissed off at this game. One is because it's like the stereotypical horror game where it's got like... A monster, and it's got, like, all these extra noises for no reason. Like, I don't understand why you need these extra songs and noises. Like, I don't get it. And number two, when you die, it doesn't have save points at all. Like, you can't even quick save. Like, why is there an option to continue? Wait, is there an option to continue? I kind of want to see, but I kind of don't want to lose all this stuff. Alright, let's evaluate what we got here. So we got bolt cutters. A lighter. A chain spool. And a tire. <laughs> and there's some random violin, which I'm guessing is just to kind of spook me, but... I'm not really scared, to be honest. So... What can the gas be used for? I light this place up like a fucking firecrack it. What are all the exits in this game? Is there a boat? Like a life raft? Yeah, there is, isn't there? You cut the wires. Wait, I think I have the stuff to cut the wires. Okay, so what is the gas used for then? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna drive around like a fucking... I'll need to find the keys, detach it from the deck, refill it. The filling equipment must be stored somewhere in your boy. No shit, dumb fuck. Alright, there's a submarine here. There's a submarine here. I may be able to get this thing working, but I'll need to put it back together first. Well... 
There's too much effort, like, let me read this to you then. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, so this is what he read about the mobster. What the fuck was that? It looked kind of cool, but I later found out that it was really fucking annoying. I need to find a way here as soon as possible. Why does he write this down? Why can't he just, like, whisper it to himself like every other character? If I can find some fuses... My nose is itchy. Maybe if I find some fuses, I can power them up. Where the fuck do you find fuses at? Like... I haven't seen a goddamn shit since I pooped. And that was a while ago. You're a fucking dick. Wait. It will kill me. I know that for a fact. I'm just gonna walk around this gas canister out. Yeah, you want me to blow this place up? You better not you better not touch me, monster, I'll blow this motherfucker up. How good is this killer? Oh, I'll beat him, I'll beat him down with the fucking pair of pliers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's quiet. Progress. That made so much noise, I'm surprised the monster doesn't show up. Alright, so that was what objective? Cut that shit. Find a fuel pump. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait in here for a while, I don't wanna die. Alright. Unlock helicopter door. Um, what did he say? I'll need to find the keys, detach it from the deck, and refill it. The refueling equipment must be stored somewhere. Near. Where are the keys at? Where do they usually store helicopter keys on a boat? Like, where would they put that shit? I don't want to fucking just... Like, look, I actually did something for once. Like, the developers could be at least happy about that. Like, I'm probably the only person streaming this game, which I'm fine with. I don't care. I want to apologize for pooping on the bed, but it's my bed, so I pooped on it. Find fuel pump. Okay. You are a fucking asshole. Some people are trying to read. Occupado. Reading in here. Go away. Excuse me, I'm reading. Go away. Thank you. So, what do we got here? I need to find the fuel pump and pump, pump that. I mean, pump. Fuck! And pour that shit in. Is it gone? I'm trying to read in here. Next time it comes back, it isn't going to be good. Somebody's gonna have some pliers to the head. Hey, shit ass, you wanna see me beat a monster down with a fucking pair of marker pliers? Alright, I'll. I'm gonna walk. What is. Yeah, he just starts driving or flying around like a little bitch. Where's the refueling thing at? Where do you refill a helicopter from? I don't even fucking know. I don't know, I haven't... I, oh, here it is. Where does this go to? Where does this thing go to? I got it. What? Wait. Try pouring gasoline inside of it. 
Okay, game. What? It's just some fucking ambience developers left in for no goddamn reason. Well, I don't know where the fuck. Where do you want me to pour this gas in? At? I'm kind of just walking around. Locked. More like open it up or I'll blow the motherfucker open with this goddamn dynamite I found in my asshole. Hey, monster, you want this? Never mind. It's mine. I'm sneaking over here with this gas. He just set a trap over there, didn't he? What the fuck? Oh, well, he's in a ventilation right now. He ain't got. He don't know what's going on. He ain't even near me then. What do I do with this? Like, I. Yes, I get it. Shut the fuck up. I should have did some research on this game before I started playing. Let me think. Let me think. So, find a fuel pump. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? It yes! Shut the fuck up! Juicy! Oh my god. What is that? Oh my, what the hell? Uh, 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 oh my god. Oh, it ripped the fucking goddamn locker door off. Oh my god. It's leaving. Do a little spin. <laughs> you know, I'm about to pull a Kyro and run out of here. Look, I'm part of the Yakuza, I'm just running. I don't care if it's following me. Speed run. Yeah, I'm bored. I'm not scared of this monster anymore, actually. Now that I've got a feel for it, I don't really care. Wait, I wasted this. Did you know when this game first came out, you could take those back? What he basically did was just put stuff in the vent so it blocks my way. The one bonus of the big guy is that you can, like, hear his footsteps. <gasps> oh, I need to beat someone's ass now, don't I? Wait, let me hide in here like a little bitch again so he doesn't kill me while I read, okay? Alright, how do I escape? So, I need to... <sighs> nice! That's a good objective, just power console. What the fuck does that mean? Fix broken panel with what? Replace battery. Replace headlights. Well, that ain't happening. But what I will do is throw out this flashlight because it's a piece of shit. No, he's right there. And right there. Oh, I don't know where to go. I guess I'll go... Which way do I fucking go, then? Yeah, 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 I saw that coming from a mile away. There. Did you see that bullshit? I have a lighter if you want one. Look, I'm like offering it to him like a fucking Kit Kat bear. Real scary, real scary. Oh, getting some juicy footsteps. You want to kick out? 
Do you want my? Do you want this monster? Look. Do you want this? Do you, shut up! Stop making noises. Do you want this fucking lighter or not? You little. All right. So you found me. Good job. All that effort so you could kill- Well, I'm not dead. Goddamn Steam got me! I'm dead. Holy, this is getting fucking holy. You hear that? That is some good shit. I don't know why the fuck it's taking so long to load. What the fuck did the monster do? Just destroy my ass? Let's all be honest here. Wait, how come I can't zoom in on that? Look, it has all the monsters on it. What the fuck? Why didn't... Wait, can I listen to this audio log? He's like trying to pick up the camera. No, I'm fucking with the audio load. Uh, he's like, the, that, the big ass monster. I can't believe that I just wasted an hour of me just running around a fucking boat for him to open the goddamn fucking, like, cabinet I was hiding in. Out of the two cabinets, he picked the right one. And on top of that, I was like being a little bitch crawling around the floor like Ooh. and he found me This actually explains how I feel And do you want me to play the whole thing? I heard her again um I like the home screen for this game, though. Uh, yeah, we will listen to the audio log, I guess. <laughs> that was actually the audio log. I was not fucking with it that time. I'll, I'll play it again for you. I'll play it again, just to prove. Is it that guy speedrun in the game? Is it that guy, even though the guy who speedran uh, Among Us? Yeah, this is him. <laughs> what is that? Like a fucking photocopier? Like, what the fuck is that noise? I hate how there's no, like, peaceful difficulty so I can kind of learn. Yeah, there's no tutorial, yeah. There's, like, nothing. I don't really want to play again, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that was kind of annoying. Oh, I'll play the credits for y'all. Alright, well, we got the secret ending. Uh, or you listen to... What's it called? Uh. I don't know what the fuck it's called. You know, for an indie game, this game has a lot of fucking developers. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Wait, so they had it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'll tell you something, alright? You got a good game here. Now, I'm gonna be real, like, okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like a, a critic of video games right now. The developers of this game, what is their name? Junkfish. Junkfish. You have a really good game here. I would say there could be a few changes here and there like maybe giving the player an actual map uh as they go along like sort of like uh seven days to die how they did their map as you go along you kind of find stuff i guess uh what else i another thing i would actually suggest is give the killers a certain 
like a cue that they're near you like a certain song or a certain sound when they're close to you because I have no idea when they're close to me like sometimes when I just read the book the monster just comes out and I could be just standing there and another thing yeah you can you can only hear him like because he's got the big ass feet right big boy big boy anyway I would suggest I would like a second game of this a little more easier to understand, like a sort of tutorial. I mean, I don't know if the devs of this game, because it's an indie game, right? They kind of look at feedback and stuff. Maybe, I don't know. But Junkfish, I would just say a map. Pro you, got, you got good AI, and you got good monster designs. I don't know what else I'd really suggest for this game. You got anything? Not, not as much... Uh, hide and seek with the 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 tools and stuff because it's kind of hard to find some things and what would you say and save points save points yeah like a an in-game save point like not even like a like an actual full on save, just like a quick save. Like, how I would do the quick save is if the player was killed five seconds after their quick save, the quick save would be erased. Because, if how long would it take you to run away from a killer? Like, okay, so five seconds would be long enough, right? Long, five seconds would be like, it jumps out, you have time to run. I wish there was more ways to defend myself against the monsters. Sort of like Dead by Daylight, how you can drop the pallets on the killer. I wish there was kind of a way for my character to defend himself a little bit better than just running. Because I like the concept for this game. I actually really like the... I got this game on sale, obviously, but I do care about this game. I like the concept. I just wish that there was kind of... I do understand this is not an, a tr like a triple-A title. Like, this is not by a big development company. This is a small indie dev type thing. I've streamed this game twice so far, and I, th I like this game, but I just hate dying. It's really fucking annoying. I know. I've been playing for about almost an hour. It doesn't seem like much, but... I mean, that, and a whole, a whole hour is gone. Like, I just wasted an hour getting all that stuff. But I'm not, I'm not mad, it's just kind of like, eh, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it just happens, but, yeah. I do like this game, but I just wish there was more to it. That's the one downside to this game. And the map layout is very, very confusing. Every floor looks the same. Like, I know it's a boat, and it's supposed to look like that, but I just kind of hate that there's no... I know that there's a map on the fucking wall. I told you at the beginning of this that I would find it, but I couldn't because, like... Yeah, it's randomly generated. It There's no location to go to see a map. It's just you hope that you find it. I wish that you spawned in with the map... Yeah, and, and for the monster, your character could probably, you know, it could be like kind of a, you know, a cartoony, I guess, esque type thing where it has a drawing of the monster's face where it was last seen and which direction it was going. That would be kind of helpful. Like, this game, the one problem I had, or a few problems, this is on top of the just slim few. There's kind of no information on where the monster went or when it's gone. There's no, like... Like I said, the map, you could just... If you are thinking of making a monster in 2... These are just some concepts, I guess. It'd be kind of cool to see, um... Like, let's just say... You know, the monster was coming down this hallway. Your character would write down, like, little triangles to where he thought it might have went. Obviously, that would take a while to develop, and I know it's an indie company, but... 
I'm not, like, criticizing this game. I'm actually just, you know... I haven't played a lot, a lot, but I, I, I played enough to know. I mean, it's just a small indie game. I'm happy it's on console. I am. But I definitely see if there is ever going to be a Monstrum 2. More concept. Did this game sell well? I don't remember. This game sold well? Yeah. Really? I wonder how much it made them. <laughs> One fucking penny. <laughs> but seriously though, if the developers of this do see the stream, I would like to say that this game is quite fun. I'd say a little bit better level design. More information on the monster. There should be cameras. Like, looking at this right here, there should be cameras that you can view to see where the monster is. So you can get a kind of an idea of where he is. Your character could then write down where he saw the monster at on the camera, right? Yeah. So you have an idea of, alright, he's over here. I think I have time to run in this direction, and he won't find me. I don't know if the monster is based on RNG, if he is actually just kind of wandering around, or if he spawns in at random times just to encounter you. But I would like to say that this is a fun game. I do see potential. When did this game even come out? I don't even remember. This is 15? Yeah, if you're making a new one, or... Yeah, a new one, basically. This game was fun, but I just feel like more upgrades upon it would be a little bit better if you guys are, obviously. And I'm not criticizing your game, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying... As a player of this game, I would like to say that there are a few things that would really help the player. Because I know it's like kind of one of those cliche horror games where it's like, oh, you just gotta die, you know, it's kind of spooky, but... To kind of win the game, I guess. And I know the objective is not to win, but I like... It's not just that, it's just kind of like, I have no idea what happens half the time. I don't know where the fuck the monster is, I don't know what to do. Oh, do you know what would be a really good thing in this game I just thought of? Like... Oh wait, my knuckles... Ugh. So, it's like some kind of tracking at, or uh, thing, right? Uh, like the Ghostbusters have, that beeps when there's something near them. There could be one of those, but it would run out of batteries after a certain amount of, like, use. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you'd you find batteries for it. And I wouldn't say they're super hard to find, because I don't think this thing would be overpowered. It'd give it, like, a certain radius. So, like, I'd say... It would be kind of hard to find, okay? You make it kind of hard to find. Don't make it impossible, but make it kind of, you know, rare. But not super rare. And with that, you would have the piece of technology that I speak of. And when it runs out of battery, you could then decide to... Uh, you'd have to limit your use, obviously. And since there's only a certain amount of batteries that spawn... You'd have to use that, you know, to your advantage. You know, you'd be like, okay, I'm going to pull this up, see if it's near me. It beeps on how far, or... I'm thinking of this thing as two, th two ways, all right? One, it could be like, it beeps, like, the far the closer it is. So, like, it picks up, like, a unnatural presence, you know, of, you know, it's, it's, it's a game, all right? We can just say that. And, what, like, okay, so, say if it's the the big, like, uh, heavy dude, you could hear, it goes, you know, uh, say he's all the, all the way down at the end of the hallway. You hear, beep, 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 beep. Then if he's, like, in the wall next to you, it's like, beep, 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 beep. You know, and it turns green when he's, like, right in front of you, but obviously, you know, that's just, like, a bonus feature that not many people would use, obviously. It does not make noise. It would not need to make noise, because if it made noise, then that would it would help the monster. Because this isn't like Dead by Daylight. You don't need to worry about what the monster thinks. I like indie games, because you have, like, the developers of this game might actually listen. You know? It's a possibility. Uh, so I would like to just put in what I think. I think that Monstrum is a good concept for a game. I just think that there are some things that are missing that would make this game 
so much more playable and like exciting and when you have this certain piece of technology you don't want to give it up which takes up an inventory slot too right like it, and it balances the game out too because you don't put the batteries into the actual thing you have the batteries on you and when you deplete the batteries they go out of your inventory and you lose those batteries right I'm just trying to make this game more, I guess, balanced, but I see that this is just, you know, a horror game, obviously. But it, this game is all RNG. That's all, that's the one thing I don't like. It's just basically RNG. That's all it is. But developers, if you are listening here, those are a few concepts you can use. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I even explain the other part? No, I didn't. So, another part is, it's kind of like in Alien, when you hold out the little thing and it beeps the red dot. It could do that, which would make the player have to hold the, the tracking thing out longer to waste more battery. But, on the other hand, it's also balancing it out so that they know where the monster is. It also takes batteries. It also takes up two slots. And you can find a book peg in this game, right? And it increases your inventory, so then the player could find that, make their inventory bigger, carry more stuff. If they ever do think of making a second game, they can feel free to use these concepts. I mean, I just... Like, the Dead by Daylight developers kind of do that. They listen to their community. Not a whole lot, but they do enough. But, yeah, I think this game could probably be somewhat of a AAA title with these concepts in mind. Especially, especially ways to defend yourself. I feel like when I get spotted by the monster, I have to run and find a locker. That's it. It's like Outlast. And since, since this game has replayability, and since this play game has randomly generated everything, it should at least have some balancing to it. And add difficulties. That would be a good thing to have. It's easy. easy. The monster can't hear. He can't see as far. He doesn't check the lock. He doesn't break the doors or break lockers. And he doesn't... Uh, he has a very, very, very slim chance of finding you in the right locker. He'll only open it, but that's it. For medium difficulty, I would say, you know, what this game basically is, but a little bit more forgiving. You know, like... Your footsteps can be heard, but not f super far away, and noises can be heard, but not super far away. Because on easy difficulty, those are like casual people that come into the game. They're like, oh, I want to see this kind of spooky game, you know, I want to see what it's all about. And, they, you know, they want to have a little bit of fun so they can turn on the radio. And if the monster hears it, the monster hears it, but not from as far as it literally could. I don't know where the fuck the monster goddamn was, but when I, as soon as I played at least, f like, a whole second of that song, it came right towards me. So, oh yeah, on easy, it cannot pick up flashlight scent, so, like, it wouldn't be able to track uh, if the player's clicking flashlights or something, or any light source. Uh, no normal is basically what I just played, a little bit easier. Hard? Harder than what that was. And then you should have a very hard difficulty of some sort after the player has beaten hard. And that difficulty, there is... The killer can hear your your breath but only slightly your footsteps can be heard like almost anywhere well not everywhere but you know there's got to have a limit to it the tracking thing is weak the it is very faint and would not help that much it like does nothing like let's just say like basically it's it has delays in between beeps that would make it kind of hard to understand, wouldn't it? Like, imagine if he was at the end of the hall, and the tracking thing goes like, beep, beep. And then if he gets close to you, it's just beep, beep, 
beep, you know, to fuck with the player because it's the hardest difficulty, the player should obviously have, you know, no help at all. Like, it's the max difficulty. But there should be... And whatever you would put into this game to make it so the killer had a, had a harder time getting you, limit the player's use of whatever you're using, like, to, like, slim. Like, really slim. Like, I don't know what it could be like. Uh... I don't know, what would you add in this game? It can't be pallets. Uh, what, what would it be? Yeah, maybe in uh, maybe in the containers you can drop pallets. But the killer could just, you know, break that shit. No, no, because that would take too long. Wood wouldn't work. Something that would you put... Like bars, you know those things that they put in between doors to lock them. You could put that in the way, so the killer has to like you know bust its way through. Or uh, you could move furniture, or you know something at least to slow it down. That's that's another thing. The doors should be able to be locked. I know they can already be locked, but they can be broken down. You should be able to push furniture into the door so it can't open. So the monster says, "Hey, you know, fuck it. The door's locked. I'm just gonna go." jerk off you know something like that you know you need to like i know i'm just you know the, the, i'm kind of having fun i kind of like having fun with the uh, how i would kind of see this game being more enjoyable for everyone you know it's just kind of fun i'm having a little bit of fun with it uh another thing that would definitely help players is uh your character should definitely write down more not like in the book because that didn't explain anything it just kind of explained like sort of something your character should write down things that he found important as he went along the journey so when you find the submarine you could look back into your map and it would say he circled i saw an important object in a room the door is locked though Okay, you gotta figure out open the door. Not gonna give you answers though, right? Um, for killer speed, I feel like in this game, the killer's speeds are very uh, forgiving. I I think the only one that can actually catch up to you in a straight up chase is probably the little one that crawls on the ground. But other than that, I think that on different levels of difficulty i think it would be kind of cool to see a different speed that the monster goes at to give the player more uh what is it called like you know for easy going players you know the monster's kind of like you know uh kind of jogging at you and you're like full on sprinting right so you're obviously going to escape you don't have to worry about using <clears throat> the tools necessary to defend yourself um you could you know, still use it because you're casual. You don't know anything. You're like, oh, monster's going to get me. Might as well, you know, put the bar up or something to block the killer. Another thing that'd be kind of cool is to see max difficulty in this game. Like the max you could, well, not this game, but obviously if they make a second one or whatever they decide to do with this game. Max difficulty. The monster should run at the same speed as your character like and not like so then it would end up like this the player who is ex extremely experienced in this game would be able to uh what is it run right you still have that advantage the advantage to blocking certain things you know make the i would suggest that you make the hitboxes for objects a lot bigger because they were kind of hard to interact with sometimes but back to what i was saying they block it. You just put a lot of distance between you and what was trying to kill you. Uh, and you now are running... Because, okay, I see it like this. If both the human and the monster are running at the same speed, the player who is experienced cannot fuck up his movement. You know what I mean? Because, you know, people get really good at games like that. They can perfect their movement. Uh, and uh, it would be really cool to see what would happen, you know? Like... That would test you. It would really test you. I feel like the max difficulty would be a pretty good test for people who've played this game for a while. And I know this game isn't super popular like it used to be, but it could be. 
if a second one came out with these concepts in mind, I think that people would like to play this game. Or the second one. You know, it, it's just up to listening to the community is all. And I, I kind of like to just put it out there because... Yeah, it's just an indie company. I mean, they did kind of... They kind of listen because, you know... I already told you why. I don't really need to put it out there. But I just like... a com Like a mini company with a lot of... Uh, what is it called? A lot of... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? It's like... Enthusiasm for a horror game. Like, the killer is not a real player. It does not matter if you're more overpowered than the killer. I don't think the killer cares. He's a fucking robot. He doesn't know. You know. Like, you can obviously not troll the monster in this game. Like, it, it, he instantly kills you. You can't fuck with him. But, you know, those, like, really high-ranked players would really benefit... Uh, and if they wanted to, I guess they could add, like, a perk system of some sort, you know, after each mat. That would be a really good idea, actually. A leveling up system. After each match, you get kind of a skill tree that builds up your character and gives you certain survival techniques. Like, let's just say this, right? Uh, you get a perk where you get one escape from the killer's grasp, right? But... In turn, you are slowed down for a certain amount of time. You know what I mean? So, like, your character you know, escapes the killer's grasp with his perk, which activates, you know, only once or twice, maybe. And depending on the skill tree and how the developers would go about it, uh, I'd say... You would run half your normal speed because you'd still be grabbed. And that's like cheating, right? You can't just get away with, Oh, I, like, this isn't Dead by Daylight where, Ha, oh, I just stabbed the survivors with a, or the killer with a piece of glass. Now I can go as fast as I want, bitch. Here I go. And you're like fucking going the speed of light. No, I, I feel like in this game, when you, like, whatever your character does, stab the killer. You know, stun them somehow. Your character will be running half the normal speed because you have technically cheated. And, like, let's say there's, like, a, like, let's say, okay, let's say, like, in, uh, theory, this game builds a big community, right? And what ends up happening is people start, you know, doing speed runs, doing tournaments of some sort, uh, doing something like that. And in the end, or... Uh, somebody does, like, you know, max difficulty, a playthrough, uh, and they do, they escape. You're like, he just used a perk that literally just saved his life, but in return, he literally got slowed down so that the killer, after being stunned, has somewhat of a chance of coming back from what he just, what just happened to him. I mean, like, it's, it's just a, it's just a couple concepts. I mean, obviously, I do know this is an indie game. This is made by a small company, or just a bunch of. Uh, yeah, it was. A, it's a company, right? But I don't know what they're gonna do about this. But uh, they're definitely thinking of a next game. They could use uh, any one of those concepts. Cause Monstrum is a good game, and I feel like if uh, if this game had more balancing to it, I think that I would kind of like to play this game more. I like that it's kind of spooky, but I don't like some of the features. I know I'm being nitpicky, but I'm not being super nitpicky. If this was a AAA title, I'd be like, yeah, so, Sony, why's your console? Shoot. But, yeah, why is your console just so goddamn fun? But, I thought since I don't live stream that much, you know, at the end of this live stream, I'd say, hey guys, you know, I got my first, uh, was it, content, community strike, something like that. Yeah. And I was like, well, 
I mean, obviously, I do deserve it. I mean, that's not me now, but it was me back when. So I went back and I was like, oh, time to delete all those videos. Fuck that. Because, you know, time goes on, you change. You're not, you're not as bad as you used to be. It's just not funny, alright? I'm just gonna say it here on stream. The N-word is not funny, alright? When you use the N-word, you are definitely out of jokes. Like, I don't think I've said the N-word once. Have I? The stream? No, I don't think. But yeah, I don't really... It's not funny anymore. Yeah, I ain't fucking with that no more. It's just not really funny. So, uh, yeah. Uh, with all that said, anyway, I think this will be the end of the stream. Uh, there's just, like, one... I almost beat this! Like, I was so goddamn close. My fat ass almost beat this game, but... There's just a few n features that are kind of missing that would kind of make this game glow a little bit. You know, out of the ordinary horror games. Good concept. It's cool that there are multiple escape routes. It, there's all these cool features, but uh, it's a good game. I think this is a fun game to play if you want to get spooked, but... Like, if th uh, it's not really that... Like, okay, so... Yeah, there's indie games that have difficulties and stuff like that. But other than that, I don't, I don't fucking know. I, I would just say... I respect the developers of this game because they had a passion and they followed it through to the end and we got this product, so... And, uh, I guess I would also like to say that, uh... I, I fucked up, uh, my YouTube channel in the past, but, you know, I, I, I'm trying to get back on track now, you know, change it up a little bit. For now, I'll just be white people jokes. Yeah, white people are pretty bad. They don't deserve to eat. They don't deserve to eat. Yeah, you eat your food. But yeah, so. I like this game. I have potential. Uh, I'm probably going to say this because when I start playing my Xbox, when I get rid of this piece of shit, I will be looking forward to uh, maybe a Monstrum 2, you know? It'd be kind of cool. I'd like to see, you know, some of the devs, you know, give me some feedback. You know, that'd be kind of cool. You know, some feedback on, you know, content to this game at the developers watch. Which they might, you know, they might. I don't know if it's like Todd Howard, though. I remember Todd Howard used to watch everybody's live streams of the game and, like, he would use, like, a fake profile, and he would ask people what they thought of the game and how good it was or what, were, what they like about it what they don't. It was so fucking weird. Like, I've never seen that before. Like, I've seen games... No, but... It happened to Vine Sauce Vinny when he was playing through his playthrough. Also, I know, like, in Call of Duty, you can play against the devs and stuff. Mortal Kombat... Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Uh, goodbye, I guess.